Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. What I've guessed today is a quick video showing you guys some details on the new global event. If you guys didn't know, yes, there will be a fourth global event at the end of January. Um, as far as I know, there's no specific date. But in previous city games, they actually said the fourth global event will be somewhere late January, so um, we can expect it there. Also, if you guys didn't know, um, it is called Ambush, and right now, we actually know two um, pieces of information towards this global event. We actually know what the modifiers are, and we actually know what the masks are going to look like. Now, I'll be the first one to say it, I am not sure if these masks are 100% of what they're going to look like when they actually come out in the game. But as far as I know, and a lot of people on Reddit and Twitter, um, these are the masks we'll be seeing in the Ambush Global event. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go over the modifiers first, and then lastly, I'm going to show you guys the image of the masks. Um, if you don't really care about the modifiers, you can go ahead and skip the video, but if you are, here they are. Uh, so first up, always active will be a modifier where agents deal increased damage while stationary. Pretty much what this means is whenever you're standing still, um, whenever you're in cover the whole time, this is when you're going to be doing a little bit more damage. I'm not sure if it's going to be, you know, crazy numbers or stuff like that. But for this global event, playing stationary is the way to go. Next up, we have cover ambush, and pretty much what this is going to do is ambush behavior plus damage, then health, diminishes while moving. So as I said, um, playing stationary, playing with a 6 piece classified sentry, or just something that you can stay in cover 24-7, will be the playstyle for this global event. The third modifier we have is covered ambush behavior plus damage diminishes when close to allies. So as I said, you don't want to be close to enemies in this global event, you just want to stay back as far as possible and just do a lot of damage with your sniper rifle or something like the MDR. Lastly, these are the three new masks we'll be seeing in the Ambush Global Event. Um, in my opinion, the middle one looks the best. I don't know why the left one and the right one kind of look simple and plain and... I don't know, I'm just not really the biggest fan of them. The middle one looks kind of tanky, like bulky, and uh, I do hope it's gonna look even better when I have it on my character. Anyways, that is it for the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. For anyone curious, there's no um, way or, or there's no information on how to get these masks out of the right now. When there is, I'll make another video showing you guys how to get them and stuff like that. So, um, as I said, for anyone that's curious, there's no way or, or there's no detail on how to get them as of right now. But once again, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.